I am Thomas Rama, born in Poland, based in Finland for half of my life, from 96. I was born in Poland in a city called Jelenia Góra, but grew up in a tiny village that was actually isolated me from the city. I was always interested in, in art. I, was, I chose my high school uh, with the art profile, uh, which was actually glass, uh, art glass department. And then I continued in the uh, Academy of Fine Art, which was very conservative academy in the 90s. So already there, I started my activities on the street, which involved happening and performance. It's very difficult to say when I started because it was kind of fluent and it, it was more of a playing with uh, bypassers and with friends. But I think that the eldest documentation of performance I have from 93. After I graduate, from Academy of Fine Art, I, uh, I was looking to establish my artistic career. I thought that the worst disaster is behind me as I survived the collapse of the system in 81 and, uh, and the martial law and change of the system in, in 90. In 96, I moved to Finland, but in 97, I lost all my belongings in big flat uh, which pushed me even more into performance art, into idea of performance art that you create on the spot and from scratch and nothing is left after your creation. In that sense, I think that the documentation is very important as the only proof that I have of what I have created over the last 30 years. In 96, I couldn't speak Finnish nor English. So for several years, I was living in uh, silent and I developed performance art as an alternative way of communicating and getting attention. There is such big confusion. What is performance art? Especially that it so much overlaps with theater and, uh, and uh, performing arts or staged arts. Of course, performance art for each artist is something else and it's very difficult to put the finger on what is the pure definition of performance art. But I think that if the name came out and start to be in wide use in the 70s, means that it is something else than experimental theater. And uh, I have my own idea that it's supposed to be authentic. And performance gives you possibilities to express your views another way by creating images or action or situation. It's cheap. Is uh, you can, can make big impact, uh, can let me express my views and myself because I am with my personality in that given space and time creating art. You can create art with your personality. Isn't it great? For a long time, performance as relatively new discipline of art was not academic. And uh, I meet uh, senior artists and experienced artists. Usually I try to ask them what is performance art for them and how they found performance art. And each story is different and each definition is different and even terminology. So maybe that's very interesting that performance art is kind of a dimension 
for other discipline of arts, a dimension of being or creating life in front of audience or potential audience. Thinking about terminolo terminology, I like the, the Chinese term for performance art, which is, they call it behavioral art. So it means that your everyday gestures behaving might become art in opposition to theater when you plan, rehearse, stage, you and theater, even experimental theater, you're supposed to move from place to place while performance art is happening in certain space and time and often cannot be repeated. In movie theater, we can see liters of blood. Nobody knows if it's real. We assume that it's not. But we have this screen that is separating us, this wide wall separating us from the, from the happenings. In performance, there is nothing like that. Also, the, the attitude of the artist is different. I don't want to say that performance artist is himself because I don't know what it means to be myself. I'm different now in front of camera. I'm different in front of Miro in the in, uh, bathroom. But, uh, but maybe, as I mentioned before, to be authentic. This is maybe what makes for me performance art. You have your live experience and that's your main artistic input. And then you need certain tools to know how to translate for an action. I have to say that I don't believe that everybody is artist and everything is art. I would say rather that anybody can be artist and anything can be art. And this is a big difference. And I think that the project could be, could work as a activating this potential, all those possibilities, especially in Vanta. If performance should touch the real life, I think Vanta is perfect. One of uh, our mentors that we invited to this project, Roy, Roy Vara, he has this uh, saying that artists should go sometimes to the woods to perform. It means to, to really find the real audience. And streets of city is that woods. This is the real situation when we meet people who are not necessarily prepared to receive art, but a regular passing by audience. And this is maybe the most critical and the most difficult environment to perform for me, but also the most rewarding because that's really break us from theater. Leading the workshop, I will make you familiar with simple performance tools. How to take the space, how to make composition in a space, how to take time, limitation of time, or how to stretch the time with repetition, slowing down, how to use your body, gesture, how to use materials, or maybe props, how to interact and collaborate. I give the chance, chance to try many different things, but later you have to select what is uh, important for your practice. Mm -hmm. And also, only later you can decide if performance art is for you. Of course, nobody 
said that such workshops should be easy. Uh, performance is demanding discipline of art. But it's just a workshop and we will make sure that everybody feels comfortable.